Um, there are two things going on. Um, one is, as electric vehicles become more popular, uh, technology, uh, especially in battery technology, is evolving very, very, very fast. So in terms of capacity storage, the batteries are becoming much, much more capable. They're also getting cheaper. So that's an ongoing trend. Most of our electric powertrain parts are imported. All right, There's not much that we can buy in India. So the batteries are imported. Uh, the traction controllers are imported. The transmission and the motor is made in India. Um, as the volumes grow, um, not just us, other manufacturers who may need uh, components, then localization will make sense. At this, at this volume level, it doesn't make sense. And then a second layer of uh, cost reduction can happen. Um, you know, all the city, most, most cities, and you've all heard the Prime Minister's uh, drive for smart cities, right? Um, Hyderabad is putting in a fairly world-class metro. Delhi's already got it. The issue is how do people get to the train, right? The way you get to the train is in your car or auto rickshaw or buses. Various cities are looking at putting in feeder services where you get the passenger to the train and when they get off the train, get them from the train to their destination. They're looking at clean vehicles to do that. Otherwise, you really haven't solved the pollution problem. If you've got a whole bunch of polluting vehicles taking people on and off the train, it doesn't solve the problem. So a lot of cities are looking at clean vehicles to actually provide that last mile connectivity for the metro. Um, it's, we are just a provider of uh, a product which is electric. The other thing that Jagan mentioned is all our vehicles are connected. When I say connected, they're always connected to a server. So our servers know exactly where the vehicles are. We can then inform whoever's in the car how far they're away from the train. Is the train running late? So there's a lot of information that can flow back and forth. And that's what we use telematics for. Uh, our cars are all telematically connected. And it provides a very unique platform where you can connect a metro to a bus to information can be seamlessly shared, is what I was trying to explain. Very important initiative uh, for the year going forward. And smart cities are all built around very low levels of pollution. So they will have charging, they will have electric vehicles, they will have disincentives for polluting. Uh, they will pro provide public transport in the form of metros. So this whole smart city initiative, various governments are coming to us to see how can we help them. And so we're working with them. So we can't give you some t targets because there are two things that are going on before someone is going to buy an electric vehicle. Number one is, is the customer ready to buy an electric, number one. Number two, the charging infrastructure, which is what I mentioned up front, is that is also dependent on how the government rolls out its charging infrastructure. Both of those two things will define how quickly uh, the volume will pick up. But what we've seen is other countries, when the UK or when Norway uh, start doing the incentives, it normally takes a couple of years for the real spurt to happen. And so I would say over the next couple of years, you can see a significant increase in electric vehicle usage in India. Technology, its brand, its reach, either from the dealer network, it's also the purchasing power. So it's all of the above, but from a technology perspective, it is all developed at Mahindra River.